two-seamer to your advantage. Underway, first pitch swinging and lined in the right field. Will Smith steps in and one pitch and a base hit for UT. The check in the 0-2. Swing and a miss and the first out recorded of the top of the first. Let off the first inning with a single. There's another strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Brandon Smith after the leadoff single. Check it first, the 0-2. And there's strike three called on the inside corner. Brandon Smith. Grounds the ball out to the shortstop. And Harford up with it. And one gone in the bottom of the first inning. So strike zone so far. Line drive, left field, and the Bulldogs have their first hit. Cameron James goes down and golfs one out the left. Big home run. Here's the pitch. The runner is going. The throw is down, and Cameron James steals second base. Cameron James at second takes the lead. Going to take off a third and steal without a throw as the catcher, Marathu, couldn't get it out of his mid. Jackson State, the 2-2. Fly ball lifted into right field. Ranging back LaFollette, he's at the wall, looks up, it's gone, and State has a 2-0 lead on a two-run home run by Luke Hancock, his fifth home run of the season. Great job with two strikes right there. That's back-to-back, -back. two strike hits. A single, two stolen bases, and now a two. Hits that ball well, but off the end of the bat into left field and ranging in is Will Smith. And so you could tell it. And first pitch swinging, hits that fly ball deep to right field, and that ball is gone. Hunter Hines on the back row of the right field lounge. Hunter Hines with home run number nine. How about this little fireworks here in the first inning? Couple of left handed hitters out to right field, and that one right. It hits that ball hard into right field. A single for Kellum Clark, and the first inning stays alive. And Noah Walters. And a throw over to first, and picked off of first base is Kellum Clark to end the inning. So a quick move from Noah Walters. Kellum Clark is thrown out. Send Whitley a bill for that. Breaking ball, or actually fastball. On the outside corner. Started it off on the outside, ran it back, batting 260 on the year, six doubles, one home run. A little slow roller, third baseman coming in. Cam James slings it across, a tag, and safe at first base, making just his 13th start. There's a breaking ball lifted into shallow left field. Cumba started back, now ranging in, reaches up, he'll make the catch, and now two outs in the inning. Outs recorded, and now Nate Self will bat. There's a hot shot through the left side and into left field. Third hit of the game for UT Martin. Here's a 2-2. And there's strike three called on the inside corner, and that will end the inning. So Brandon Smith. A midweek game against Southern. Hard hit ball through the left side. Harford, the shortstop, was shaded toward the hole, but Cumbus. Man, that one plunks him right in the back. And that one hurt. That was right up. In the middle of the shoulder blades. Nice bunt by Leggett. Only one play. The throw to first, and it's thrown into the bullpen. A run will score. Cumbus comes in. Jaeger heads over to third, and Tanner Leggett is now down at second. He'll be credited with a sacrifice bunt, but a off the pitcher's glove, and there'll be no play. Well, Leggett had come off the bag at second. Bulldogs trying to expand a 4-0 lead. Ain't going to do it. Fly ball to right field, ranging back, making the catch is LaFollette. And tagging up at third is Jaeger to come in to score the fifth run for the Dogs. And it's 5-0 on the sack. And it pitches inside. Fly ball, shallow right field. Now ranging over to the corner, LaFollette makes the play, runner tags at third, and coming in to score is Tanner Leggett. back in the first inning. A swing and a miss, and that'll end the inning. Jandy McGinn, this time out to short. Leggett makes the play on the run, and the leadoff man retired in the third. Got the fastball, and that ball hit well into right center field, back at the track, and that ball is gone. Solo home run. Kolomovic.
Jack Kolumovic with a home run to right field, his second home run of the season, and the first run on the board for the Skyhawks of UT Martin. And hit that ball well into left center field. Ranging back to the wall, leaping, and did he catch it? No, a home run and back-to-back -back jacks for UT Martin as Casey Harford goes deep to center field, and it's a 6-2 to two game. Outstanding effort. Just kind of hung right there. Look at McGowan. I mean, he gets it in the baseball, takes his glove off. And now LaFollette, first pitch swinging, rolls one out to the second baseman, Jaeger, and that's out number two. Right zone a little more. Swing and a miss on the 2-2 breaking ball, and that will end the inning. And first pitch swinging, hits the ball deep in the center field, straight away, Kellen Clark, that ball's gone. A home run, a leadoff shot to center field. Kellum Clark with his ninth home run of the season. It's a home run night. Now three of them for State. And that ball hit well into right center field. And it's going to one-hop the wall. Half Acre will get it back in, but not before Cumbus has. First the first. That ball hit off the end of the bout. Shallow right field coming in, coming in, and a diving catch by LaFollette, the right fielder. Nice play. And that ball hit well into left field. And that one's gone. A two-run home run for Tanner Leggett. That's home run number four for Tanner. And Mississippi State putting on a power display here in Starkville tonight. There you go, Mr. Leggett. Here's Drew McGowan. Rolls the ball out to the second baseman. Ranging in is Beeman. He'll make the play, and that's out number two. And just up and in, and a walk. And that ball scalded off the glove of the shortstop. The stolen base is big because coming around to score is Cameron James with the 10th Bulldog run of the night. Here will come to the plate. And down the right field line. Will it stay in play? Right fielder over, makes the catch. That's the third fly out of the night for Logan Tan. Jackson, Tennessee. Line drive out to center field, ranging in McGowan. He's there to make the catch for out number one of the four, Tennessee. Ball rolled out to the right side, and R.J. Yeager makes the play, and that's out number two. I, think it's, you know. I don't know if a judge in America would side with you. <laughs> in 1900 there's a ball hit to the right side diving stab by Beeman gets up throws over in time for the out one out which is a description of preachers who traveled in the early 1900s fly ball out the left field Will Smith ranging in he'll make the catch and that's out number two so Petrie comes in here's the three one that ball is smoked to left field line drive home run Brad Cumbus with his eighth home run of the year. And he smoked it. Well, I don't have to ask you that launch angle. I just know it wasn't much. <laughs> and that, I'm going to guess somewhere in the neighborhood of 110. That's your lineup. Jamdy. First baseman over, and he'll make the catch, and that'll end the inning. But Brad Cumbus puts a charge in one to left field. Time up. And slaps that one in the right field. Nice piece of hitting. Got the fastball over the outside corner. Tap past the mound. Shortstop in. Leggett steps on the bag. Boy, a little, nice little dance move right there. Runs back in the third inning. Swing and a miss. The breaking ball down. Blocked up nicely by Hancock. He'll toss it down. That'll do it. And the 0-1. There's a shot to right field. The hammer hammers another one. Way out of the ballpark. <laughs> Second home run of the night for Luke Hancock, and that's his sixth of the season. I hear you, Hammer. From Houston, Mississippi, he almost hit that one to Chickasaw County. <laughs> right up the road. That ball's crushed.
Breaking ball, couldn't hold up, and Logan Tanner strikes out. Then to the first baseman and Von Siebert on in place of and ground ball. That's going to head to left field. So Davis squirts one through the left side. Ash runners at first and second the pitch, and that's downstairs ball four. He can come up with it. Oh, look out! The runner going to come in and score. Gets the runner coming in, and now they may have the runner hung up. Jess Davis down to pick. And he will slide. He will be tagged, and he is out. One run scores, though. Baseman in the fourth. Yeah, good to see KC back out there. That ball sent into center field right at Braylon Skinner. And one down in the seventh inning. Three fastball and a 78. And a swing and a miss. And a ground ball out to the second baseman. Davis Mesh will make the play, and that'll do it. Well, we've had a decision since it's uh, seventh inning, a 13-2 game, that this one's going to be done. And so Mississippi State wins it 13-2 over UT Martin.